and he showed up and he scared me and the divine said oh well you ruined it you gotta go you can't do that so if you're experiencing supernatural things and they scare you you're allowed to say listen this is scaring me and I, I can't handle it at this depth. I have soul sisters who said, oh no, I don't know how you deal with spirits. I don't know how you do this. And now they're over here crossing people over. Okay, so so you're in the spiritual wait, emergency room. Whatever you can handle at the time, handle. But just let the divine know, listen, I know you called me and chosen. And there's certain things I can't handle right now that maybe maybe you may not feel spiritually mature or not but the divine says you do but they will back off and they will give you they will you know put you where you need to be i'm telling you it's like a job you're div you're employed by the universe and you you meet your co-workers that you probably never see and you help people that you don't know it's just literally how it goes okay because sometimes the people closest to us and again let's talk about the people closest to us you may feel like you're not getting anywhere with the people closest to you because they're not giving you the respect you deserve and and period in life i mean the respect you deserve as a change individual the respect you deserve at with your growth the, the the respect you deserve you know being honorary of your path of your choice you know what i'm saying so a lot of those things and i told you guys and i didn't even know any when i said anything built on faulty foundation will crumble and when i said it was six days i did not know that on that sixth day was the full moon I didn't know. I just gave the download and I keep going. There's so many things and readings that I do that I'm like shocked. I get shocked every day. I never. I wake up for magic for my divine job. I never know to, to what to expect. But it was that full moon that anything that was built on faulty foundations will crumble. People have shown you who they are. People have shown you what where they stand in your life people have shown you that they have not changed do you guys know in a matter of six months three different people that i care about doesn't matter their relation told me that they're not going to change and that they one person told me they're not going to change um i expect too much of them and that was only human decency another person told me that they're not going to change because them they are who they're gonna be even if their way that they were is rude and nasty so i decided to take my way from that and another person tell me that i don't want to change so how about you love me from afar i'm like i can't i i like i'm still remember i told you you're gonna be going through things where you're like you mean to tell me you rather stay in a super low vibration you rather stay this way so basically you're telling me that me not being in your life you you staying in this low vibration you staying this way is okay fine right and then you you have them stand on business and then they're like but where are you going away from you because you've made a conscious decision not to change and that's where your test lies is how do you feel about you enough to not allow people to treat you any type of way they can okay you don't want to be a decent person you don't want to you know have moral standards boundaries whatever the case may be you don't want to respect me my space member then you don't need to be in my life you standing on that business is causing these people to look and be like holy shit i should have never treated that person that way because how is you asking someone for human decency a lot right so you're like oh i just i guess i don't need anyone but it's not that you don't need anyone 44 in the chat and 44 right in front of me you're moving to a more grounded place that these people will unground you they will have you unstable not in the right place not in the right situation so yes you may feel remorse yes you may feel uh you know like how would i let someone treat me like that that's okay you know better right you might be regretful i should have never gave another chance you know here comes that delilah spirit they came in they hurt me it has nothing to do with you remember people treat you the way they feel about themselves so so i feel like the people that was projecting negativity and toxicity and doubt and everything that to to throw you off your path spirit said oh no oh no we're done because i i need my chosen one i need them to do something for me and if they're around the naysayers and the people in the back and the people that don't, that don't support them and they're not going to do what i need them to do so to two energies here you're getting everything that you lost is getting replaced in friendships relationships whatever if you want love love is what you're going to get if you had to let people places and go stand firm with your boundaries in business and if they show that they've changed 
Then 